Hey everybody, this is the zigzag wonder. We're just walking around, exploring the place and um, you know, I need some kind of guide. Maybe the stick can be my guide, you know? In hiking, people are always using sticks to guide or something like that, you know, so they could know where they're going and look where they're going and find objects of interest. Or maybe I need a person who can guide me. Maybe I can look around and find a person, you know? And you look kind of familiar. I know you. Why don't you be my guide today? You know? And let's think about the way we can explore the world. And one thing I was always wondering about is what are we doing today with all these payphones around? You know, it's a real shame. Where's a payphone when you need one? Does anybody ever use a payphone? Are you phoning to pay or paying to phone? What, what are we doing here? So, <coughs> do you guys use payphones? No payphones? Yeah, no, nobody uses payphones? But nobody uses one? No, no payphones? All right, that's okay. I think one thing we have to remember sometimes is Walking around with a stick can be kind of stressful, so let's walk a little further and find out what we can do with a stick. Remember, it can be something like driving, you know, that's the nice thing about sticks, is that you can pretend that you're driving, but you're not really driving because you're simply walking, but it's under the illusion that you're driving because this could kind of be like a steering wheel, you know? And I can't seem to find my guide. Seems to have mysteriously disappeared somewhere. I have no idea why or where or how this guy disappeared. So for now, I'm going to have to just walk around with a stick for now. Which is not such a bad thing to do, actually. The nice thing about walking around with a stick is that it's got advantages. It could kind of be like a weapon. What do you think about a weapon? You know, like if someone were to attack you, how would you, how would you, you know, you know, how would you just give it to them like that like what would you do can you show me how would you if someone was to uh, attack you how would you attack them no no you don't know oh, all right that's fine you know because sometimes you have to protect yourself and carrying a big stick around is you know the way to go but you know all right we'll, we'll find out how do you guys defend yourself if you have a big stick how are you going to defend yourself if somebody were to attack you and kill you what are you going to do when you've got a stick how will you Kill the person with it. What would you do? What would you do? Tell me how. Like this? Like that? Like that? Like that? Like that? Like impale them like this? Like that? I like that. Is that good? All right. Thanks very much for the tip. I'm going to keep that in mind next time someone attacks me. Yeah, with a guitar. He said, do that with a guitar. What's a good way to defend myself if somebody were to attack me with a stick? How, how shall I? How oh, should I the f see? I needed that stick just now because that person could have attacked me. Good thing I have a weapon. I don't need a bodyguard. I don't need a, a guide. I've got a stick. I've got a stick to defend me. Of course, walking in an okay neighborhood helps also. A stick in a nice neighborhood is, is the way to go. It, it definitely is. I wonder if this is what they mean when they say a tree grows in Brooklyn, you know? A tree grows in Brooklyn. How would you guys defend somebody if they came up to you and you had a stick? What's a, what's a good way? You're nine millimeter, but can you aim well? This is my guide. Do you know who he is? I like to give you this taco. Oh, that's okay. No, thank you. I'm not interested in the taco. But it's a good taco. It's really, it's. But how would I defend myself to attack? Yes. You don't know. How would you defend yourself if I was to attack you with this taco? Stuck my foot up there. <laughs> Come at me with that taco, I'll show you. But that's kind of like a I very know, weird thing to do like if somebody would come at you with a taco. That makes no sense. I promise you, if you came at me with that taco, I would demonstrate it in every way possible. Please really? Guarantee it's a nice taco. Though. It's a nice taco. Okay, all right. Well, taco. You don't want peace. I just want, I, I want, want to buy you this taco. Okay. Wait, am I gonna get injured? Okay, but you're gonna hurt the stick. Okay, okay, let's try it. All right. 
tag me with the stick, but you're not trying to hit me. Well, because I, I, oh, okay. Well, then I have to, I have to use the stick like this then. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? That's all right. I, it, it's just clearly. Wait, Miss, can I ask you what you're making the video for? I'm not interested in the stick at all. Oh, you know, the, uh, the stick is. This is actually a documentary about sticks and the uses of sticks that's going to be airing on public access TV. So if you Google Miss Divine, you'll find that. And Mr. sometimes, Man, yeah, really Miss like Divine. To, I'd really like you to have this talk. And somebody keeps offering me a taco. It's really nice. You, know, you can borrow my shoe if you want. Well, very effective. I, I he's also. Um, I'd like to offer the heel this one time. Well, thanks very much for your time. So I recommend you Google MS Divine. Maybe you should tell your friend to take um, class in being nice. <laughs> All right, thanks very much. So once again, this is the Zigzag Wanderer here telling everybody if you've got a stick, sometimes the best thing to do is to offer somebody a tackle.